Hi, welcome to Tarot Off the Cuff. This is Kevin Quigley. Melissa Sanova is an author and a tarot reader. She's got lots of books published. You can find those online. Her reading style is very real. She tells it like it is, but with a compassionate directness that sort of cuts through all of those screens that many human beings live with in their daily lives. Hey there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, today we're talking about this card. What is this card? The Ten of Coins. Welcome to Tear Off the Cuff, by the way. Hey, I'm Melissa. How's it going? Okay. So the Ten of Coins. In this picture, which is from the Scorpio Sea Tarot that I created with Maggie Stiefvater. Stop being shiny. There it is. That's, that's fucking idyllic, you guys, right? So the Ten of Coins is really talking about an investment that you've made over the years. Um, like I just had a client who called me and she's buying a house for the first time so she could be next to her family. And she's like, it's really expensive. And I keep looking at her cards and I'm like, you are richer than fucking Cretius. You've got so much money. And she goes, yeah, but it's my safety. I'm saving it. And I was like, bitch, this is what you're saving it for. You're saving it for buying a house. And even after you buy the house, you're still going to have a lot of savings left, you know? And so the Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Coins actually came up in her reading. And it was like, uh, hey, this is why you're doing this, lady. You know, this is why you've saved all of this money so that you can take care of your family and move into this beautiful house. And um, it's about investment. It's, it's not just about money because the, the pentacles and the coins are not just about money. They're about support. So if you have a really great friend group and your life goes sideways and they got your back, that's the 10 of coins. Um, if your car breaks down, but you've saved enough money to buy a new one, that's the 10 of coins. Um, if you are having a really difficult time and you just need to call your dad so that he can make, you know, moo, moo, moo noises at you. Like I have to do Ooh, poor Melissa, me, me, me. Um, that's a 10 of coins. It's about support and it's about the investment of your time and energy so that you can have that support when you need it. Um, so when I see this little cottage, what I think about is the years that those people save their money the years that they worked and they get to retire and it's a beautiful lake in a beautiful home, right? So when this card comes up reversed for people, one of the things I like to ask them is, how are you preparing for your future, right? If they don't have a lot of friends or they don't want or need a partner, I'm like, that's fine, but you have to have some kind of connection to somebody so that when you're older and you need help, you can ask them or you can fucking pay somebody to do it, but you need to start saving your money if that's the choice. So it's a card about knowing that you're going to be okay at the end of the day. All the, all of the tens are, have an element of certain certainty to them. So get my necklace out. Sorry. So if it's not being certain, like that you're doomed, like in the 10 of swords, like stay down, bro, you know, or if it's certainty that you found the love and the support and the care that you need in the cups, or that it's, you know, the, the 10 of wands that you're carrying wrong because you're stupid and you're certainly going to fall. Um, the 10 of coins is saying you can be certain that you have a good life because what you've done is created a world in which you can have a good life. So that is the 10 of coins or the 10 of pentacles or the 10 of plates or the 10 of whatevers. There you go. Take care. Hey, this is Kevin. Hi, this is Newt. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe. You'll know when new ones are coming. And share with your friends. We'll see you soon.